This is Killer J here. Perfect Welch here. Very perfect Welch. And today we are going to talk about Doom 64. Yes. And I would say it's kind of a struggle between this version and the PS1 version, Ultimate Doom. Those were both. I would say when it comes to graphics, this is easily the best graphics for the original Doom by default. Yeah. It is a PS4 uh, version of this game. Yeah. And it's developed by Chad Knight Dive Studios. Uh, definite Chads. Yeah. It's also on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Yeah. And I'm glad this version has been getting a lot more talk as of recently. Because something I give the N64 way over the PS1 is that it definitely had a better range of shooters. And I would say this is one of them because, you know, graphics and the level design was just really good here. Yeah, it is. Like, everything the original Doom did... This one did, like, way better. The original version was developed by Midway there. Yep. Yeah. Before he went out of business and became that around studios and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that's a long story. But yeah, back to Doom. Yeah. This one just really stood out. And they did a good job. Yep. I still say this is going to be my favorite version for a long time, and... You guys can probably tell this is a 10 out of 10. Doom is one of my favorite franchises, and I'm happy that it's back, you know? I know it's back. Doom, it's back in a big way. Doom 2016 is how you bring back a franchise from yeah. the dead. Doom 3, even when it did its horror base, people were mixed on it there. Some people liked Doom 3, some people didn't there, you know? Doom's 2016. I thought people... Doom 3 was alright. I don't... I don't think Doom's ever had, like, a bad game. No. Doom 2016 redefined it there. Uh-huh. Doom Eternal was more like a Tomb Raider with some jumping stuff, but it was still Doom there. Yeah. I like, I like this game. I like the monsters in here. Especially the redesign, too, from the previous Doom 1 and 2. Uh -huh. The designs of the monster is just really fucking freaky. Yeah. And I love it. Especially the music is creepy too and it's got a creepy feeling to it. It's pretty good. Uh huh. So. And more I can say about this game is the graphics are pretty good. Yeah. The graphics are the sheet. There's just a bunch of people texting on Discord. I gotta turn off those notifications sometime. I don't know how you turn those off. It's fine. Okay. But, yeah. The, the like I said, their uh, gameplay is pretty good. Uh -huh. Something I always loved about Doom is just the weapons. Like, you just have a large we weapon selection. They're all different. But they're all fun to use. Of course, everyone's favorite is the big, well, the BFG. You know, the most iconic one. Yeah, the BFG is the best weapon there. It just destroys enemies there. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like the sieges in this game. The sieges are pretty good. This is going to be a 7 minute yeah. review. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard to say stuff about this game that hasn't already been said. Yeah. I mean, all I can recommend is go play it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Same here. I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. It's really good. It's the best first person shooter in like When it comes to old school shooter, it's pretty good. Want more of those uh -huh. old school shooters to come back on consoles there. Me too. Like, I'm more of an old school shooter guy than a new school shooter. Like, 
I I would still say Dylan and Wolf and Son are still good games, and I'm still tired of shooters, but, like, they're the exceptions to the rule. Yeah. Like, I could give two shits about Battlefields and CODs and shit. You know, I think, and I think franchises like Gears and Halo have gone on for too long. Yeah. But, like, Doom and Wolfenstein still stick out. Yeah. I think Halo should end uh, after a third one, same thing with Gears of War. Those games were originally meant to be a trilogy of games there. Yeah. Then Gears 4 with the story. Yeah, the story. I agree with what Corey said. Some things are just meant to be trilogies. Yeah. Overside Doom, they're meant, meant to continue because they have a long lasting legacy there. Yeah. Not everything's meant to have a long lasting legacy. Well, Kara had a long lasting legacy, and look where we're at, at now. Yeah. Some days I do wish the series ended it on again, but yeah. Know, I think that's a different story. Different story, different different topic there. Yeah. But I like the blood in the game when you shoot after you kill the enemies is like friggin' bloody as uh as it can be. Uh huh. It's pretty good. I like the pain element those uh, sco- uh, that's where our from was from Doom sixty four was the pain element. I think they're from Doom two as well. So ten out of ten for Doom sixty four. Final thoughts, Welch. Before we end off this video. Amazing game. And I'm glad that Doom is back and I would say of the old school Dooms, this is my favorite. Same here. I think this is one of my favorite Dooms of all time because, you know, it was a very underrated game at the time. People, Some people talked about it, but most people were talking about the other Dooms that there. But this one is a good thing. This one got some attention, some love this time around. So that's good. So this is Killer J here. Perfect watch. And Retromon Gamers, we'll see you people later for the next video game review project. Peace. Peace.